Good morning, Capstone. Um, I'm here to talk to you about your paper and your presentation, okay? So a couple things. We didn't meet this last Monday because many of you weren't able to meet, so we went ahead and canceled it. But I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that um, we are going to be meeting again on November 7th, uh, and that is going to be the day that you're going to be presenting. So please, everyone needs to be ready for the presentation. A couple things. I know you probably have questions with regards to the final paper. What does it mean? What do I need to be doing? Your final paper and all of the instructions that you need to know about that is in your syllabus on page four. So if you go to the Start Here button on Blaze View and you hit Syllabus and you scroll all the way down to the page four, you will see structure of your paper. Your paper needs to be 10 pages text. So the total length of your paper with cover sheet and reference page is going to be 12 pages. 10 of those pages is going to be the text of your paper. It's going to be the text part, like your paper paper. You can go over 10 pages, that's fine, but you cannot go under 10 pages or you will lose points, okay? It's a very small paper for this level class, so please understand 10 pages. I'm not asking you to do a lot. So some folks are not real sure what the paper is supposed to be about. I've tried to say this every time we've met. I know we've only met twice, but the paper is to be written in ASA or APA. Font needs to be 12, needs to be either written in Times New Roman or Arial. It needs to be written in ASA or APA, okay? Um, you need to have an introduction kind of explaining, you know, what this paper is about. The paper should be about what theories in sociology that you ascribe to, conflict theory, uh, functionalism, symbolic interaction, whatever theory it is, um, or and then and then it needs to go in depth about that. So what you've learned about those theories, how those theories speak to you, um, it's going to be in that first half of the paper, that first five pages that you talk about theory or six pages. That's where you're going to be using those ten sources that are required for the paper. You have to have ten sources. I'm going to allow five of them to only be academic peer reviewed, and the other five can be whatever. It can be websites, magazines, news articles, whatever. They don't have to be peer reviewed or academic, okay? So that theory section needs to be all about the theories that you ascribe to, okay? These are the theories that really speak to you as a sociologist, okay? The second half of the paper is going to be your career, what you're going to do with your with your degree. That's why we've been reading the, the book about, you know, jobs and sociology. That's why you took the career quiz at the very beginning of the semester. So you're going to either use that quiz to talk about the career you're going in, or you may already know what you want to be. Okay. Say you want to graduate with your bachelor's degree and you want to go, you already know you want to be a counselor. So you know that requires grad school, but with your bachelor's degree, you're going to get a job working in social services, maybe as a case manager or a behavior aid so that you can get that experience up until you grad, you apply for grad school. Okay. So you're going to talk about that. If you're just going into grad 